Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you the Lego Clock 2.0. I went ahead and made this, is the next model. If you haven't already seen part 1, or the first one, go ahead and watch that one first, before this one. But the main deal about this one, as you can already see, it's a lot larger. Like, look at the size of this thing, compared to the other one. But here's the main thing. You can crack, you can cock it back and forth, see? Like, easy as that. The way the caulking actually mechanism works is like this. So, I don't have any smooth pieces like this that would make a good track to get, let it go on. So instead, what I used was I need to go ahead and take out this piece first. I will explain this piece later in a little bit. So what I did is, as you can see, on this side, it's flat because it's smooth, not rough. Or it can, like, slide on it because of its shape. Same on this side. But also, it's, like, backwards and it's two different pieces. Otherwise, if you wanted them the same, it would have looked like this. But they're basically... This one's upside down. Basically, like, built upside down. So, and it just slides on, and these help keep it on its track. And here's how the mechanism... Now, next thing. How this works, when I was building it, is, as you can see, there is a little hole right here. And it just plops right in it. Like that. But... How it works is how it goes on the track and stops it, prevents it from moving, such as right here. I'm trying to get light, right here, this little piece right here. If it comes down, it can't move against it, so it would prevent you from caulking like this way or this way. Just prevent it. So you'd have to pull this up and then you could caulk back. But then this would prevent you, so this is as far as you can go. I think I'm going to move it a little bit more forward, just because it cocks back really far, like this way, really far. But, so it just doesn't allow you to. So, let me go ahead and put the top back off, like this. And I pop this right in there, as so, bam, it can't really move. It won't let you. It's even in there. It's nice, won't move. But when you move, take this out, it's all of a sudden all the way. It's a little bit rough, but that's because I don't have it. But I think it works great. So as you can see, I can just like have it here and it will move fine, as so. But then it hits there, so then you have to like pop right over. And that prevents it from moving, like that. So this is um, the Glock 2.0. Make sure you still watch .0. I was thinking of trying to make it shoot, but I didn't have any spring. I mean, not springs. Um, I didn't have any uh, rubber bands, and I couldn't find anything to really let it off of. And I was thinking that when I would pull this back, it would go ahead and like pull the rubber band back so it'd be ready to like fling at whatever it, it's trying to hit like let's say a little block and it would fling and like shoot it out so that's what would happen the other thing but when i was thinking about trying to still do it on it i made this little thing this little thing right here it's pretty simple but basically this, this little piece just fits right in there and the sticks right here, see? So you would move it like this. So what you can go ahead and do is get a little block, place it in there, and then just fling it out. If you wanna go very quickly, you can. And it would just go farther. See? It's over there. So this is what I was thinking. So make sure to like and subscribe for me to make a clock th um, 3.0 if you 
are enjoying this content. Please share the vid this video with other people and friends if you would like to help my channel rise and so I can make more content and just get better content overall. And when you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell button to get daily video content. And hope you have a good rest of your day, and bye. Bye.